This episode is made possible by Xin Yun Performing Arts. Experience the beauty of ancient China before communism. Click the link below to learn more. So I go to a restaurant on the west side of Los Angeles, and I'm waiting for a bunny of mine to come, and I'm a little early. So there's a table right next to me where two ladies are talking. So we start talking. It turns out they have known each other since the second grade. They are 85 years old. One of them is celebrating her birthday. And we started talking about California and about where the state's going. And at some point, it occurred to them who I was, that I ran for governor. By then, they had informed me that they were both Jewish, which would be relevant in a second, that one of them is a psychotherapist, the other one is a human rights activist. And then finally, one of them said, I know you. You ran for governor. And I said, that's right. And she said, who do you think I voted for? I said, you didn't vote for me. And she said, well, how do you know that? I said, let's see. We're in the west side of Los Angeles. You're both Jewish. One is a human rights activist. You're a psychotherapist. Read the clues. And she said, you're right. I didn't vote for you. And I said, well, how do you feel about the crime? That we're here where we are in this part of L.A., crime, violent crime is up 40 percent. And by violent crime, I'm talking about shootings and homicides. And they both said it was outrageous. They even began to trash George Gascon, the soft on crime DA. And I said, well, what about homelessness? Ugh, outrageous. And one of them even said, the human rights activist, you know, it seems to me that once we have enough money for housing and for treatment for people who are alcoholic or who are drug abusers, then we should get them up off the streets. They have no right to stay there when there's alternative housing and treatment, and there's plenty of money, she said, for that. I said, that's interesting. That was exactly my position during the campaign. I said, how do you like the fact that he shut down schools for a whole year when pre-pandemic, 75% of black boys in our government schools could not read at state proficiency levels, and those levels are low because they keep lowering them so they can meet them, and the math scores are even worse, and I said half of all third graders in California government schools, and by the way, 80% of the students I mentioned to them are black and brown, half of all third graders could not read at state proficiency levels, and again, the math scores are even worse. And they said it was outrageous, all the money we're spending on education, yet our scores are that low compared to all the 50 states. Outrageous, they said. I said, are you okay with the way Gavin Newsom shut down the state because of the COVID pandemic? And they both said, well, we've been vaccinated. We believe in vaccines. I said, I believe in vaccines too. I've been double vaccinated, plus I had the booster. And they said, so, so have we. And I said, exactly. You and I are all in what are called high-risk groups. I don't know about you, but I have comorbidities. I've got a blood condition. I have high blood pressure. My doctor strongly advised me to get vaccinated. I'm assuming yours did as well. They said they did. I said, you okay with the fact that because we took care of ourselves, everybody else also had to be punished by not being able to go to school and many people losing their businesses? I said, a third of all restaurants are now gone forever because of the way Gavin Newsom shut down the state. And they all agreed, we were finishing each other's sentences at this point, they all agreed it was incredibly dumb and it wasn't consistent with the science. And I said, does it bother you that Gavin Newsom had his own kids attending in-person private school, that he was at that French laundry restaurant with the very people that drafted the mandates, not wearing masks, not engaging in social distancing? They said it was outrageous. I said, you know, people are leaving California for the very first time, and they both said they had friends who had left. I said, let me get this straight. You agree with me on crime. You agree with me on homelessness. You agree with me on the declining quality of our public schools. You agree with me on the way he shut down the state uh, in an unconscionable way against science. You are outraged at the cost of living that's causing people to leave California for the very first time in our state's history. Yet you pulled that lever from my opponent. Why? And they both went, I said, before you answer, I know the answer. And they said, what? I said, you just could not pull that lever for a rah, 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 Republican. And they laugh and they agree that that was true. And they both said, you know, we are adamantly in favor of the pro-choice position. And we know you're pro-life. I said, that's right. And we're in California, where the supermajority Democrats govern the state. 
They all feel the same way you do about abortion. What makes you think, had I became governor, there would have been a bill on my desk restricting abortion rights? Zero chance that that would happen. So you didn't vote for me because of, of a likelihood that was zero? Does that make any sense? Again, the issue is you just can't pull that lever for a re 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 Republican. Before we move on, let me share with you something incredible. And that's our sponsor for today's episode, Shin Yoon Performing Arts. I'm telling you, this is one of those shows that you just have to see at least once in your life. These guys portraying Chinese culture like you've never seen before. The story, the dance, the color, the music, everything is just sheer spectacular. And they pride themselves on showing you China before communism. I feel better about the world. I feel uplifted. It touches you. It really does. The expertise of the dancers was really, really strong. To know that it was live music was really fantastic. We didn't want to miss this. Make sure you see it. Have to come. Life changing. I'm so happy to have teamed up with Shen Yun Performing Arts to offer wave booking fee on tickets to all Shen Yun shows, especially for our viewers. They'll be in the greater LA area from April 28th to May 29th. And they're touring all across the country, so if you search on their website, you'll find a show near where you live. So click on the link below to learn more. Now, you know, there's a new poll out by UC Berkeley, and they asked voters to rate Gavin Newsom on 10 issues. On nine of the issues, the man was underwater. Homelessness, crime, state budget, education, drought, wildfires, health care. The only category in which he was not underwater was climate change. And he was only above water by one point. Now, regarding their refusal to pull that lever for a ruh, ruh, ruh Republican, even worse, I voted for Trump. Remember when Gavin Newsom gave his ungracious victory speech when he survived the recall? I, I said this many, many times on the campaign trail, you know, we may have defeated Trump, but Trumpism is not dead in this country. As to my new dinner companions, the ladies, pretty soon we were completing each other's sentences on crime, on homelessness, on COVID, on all sorts of other things. And finally, one of them said, what are you drinking? And I said, I'm having a little vodka and crayon. And they said, put it on me. Well, on this night, they set aside their hostility towards the Republican and Trumpism for one night was put to rest. I'm Larry Elder, and this has been the Larry Elder Show for Epic Times. I'll see you next time. Larry Elder here, and I've got some great news for you. If you're tired of the censorship in this country, then you're in luck. You can go over to epictv.com and watch honest programs that don't spin the facts. Epictv.com is a brand new, no censorship video platform where you can watch not only my show, but other deep documentaries, great program, wholesome movies that you can watch with your entire family. So head over to epictv.com. I'll see you there. <laughs>